so let's talk about matrix multiplication and matrix transposes again we'll do that in the context of a multiple linear regression model where we have matrices with these dimensions we're also interested in the all less estimator beta hat which is calculated as follows not going to talk about that here but that delivers some of the motivation of why we need mat matrix multiplication here, for instance, we can see three products in these two equations, and we can also see transposes. So let's figure out what matrix multiplication and matrix transposes are. Say we have a matrix X, where the first column is a column of ones, and then these values are four by two matrix. That's like in the regression having a constant in the first column. And we'll also have a Y vector, that would be the vector of dependent variables. So how does scalar multiplication work and what is Y scalar? Let's assume we also have an additional variable A and that just takes value of three. This is like a one by one matrix, so only one value, but we call that a scalar. Okay, if we have a one by one matrix, we just call that a scalar. So what happens if we multiply a matrix with a scalar? So for instance, A times X. Uh, so we will often just keep track of the dimensions here. So that's very simple. We just multiply each individual element of X with that scalar A, which is three in our case. So this is the result. So that's very straightforward. So scalar multiply multiplication is easy. What about matrix multiplication? Now in this case we really need to look at the dimensions of the matrices which we want to multiply with each other. So let's assume we have a matrix X as before and that dimension is its dimension is 4 by 2, 4 rows, 2 columns. And we want to multiply that with some dimension, uh, with some matrix. That will have two dimensions. Now it turns out that this number of rows needs to be two. These two, let's call them the inner dimensions, need to be identical when you multiply matrices. That last dimension, the number of columns, could be anything as long as it's larger than one. So these two inner dimensions need to fit. So let's say our A is this, a two by two matrix. So here's our X, here's our A. How do we multiply this together. So the easiest way to do that is to state the problem in a visually slightly different way. I will produce a little cross and we'll put the X in the lower bottom element, the A in the upper right element, and then the result X times A in the bottom right element. So how does that work? Here, bottom left element is X, top right element A, and we'll leave a little bit more space between the columns, the reason will be soon. Now what's important is that these inner two dimensions, number of columns of X and number of rows of A are the same. Turns out we will end up with, the result of this is gonna be a four by two matrix, four rows, two columns. And you can already sort of visually see, visually see, visually see how that happens. The inner dimensions, they're gonna cancel out Okay, because they are the same, and we end up with four by two. That's gonna be the dimension of the result. So how do we get the elements now? So let's do the calculations. For the one one element, we take the first row, first element, multiply with the first column, first element, one times five, and then we add three, two, second element in the first row, and second element in the first column. The next element, the one, two element, is gonna use the first row of X and the second column of A. So again, we take the product of the first elements, one times negative three, and the product of the second elements, three times four. And all the remaining elements will be calculated accordingly. They're all combinations of rows of X and columns of A. So you'll have to ensure that you understand what each of these detailed calculations are. And I suggest you do it and you just find the pause button and find the final result for this. Pause button, quick. Here's the result. 11, 13, 59 in the first column, nine, 
13, 17, and 5 in the second column. So as predicted, the dimension of this result matrix of our multiplication is a 4 by 2 matrix. So with this knowledge under our belt, could we calculate x times y? Remember, x was a 4 by 2 matrix, y was 4 by 1, but now the inner dimensions are not the same. So it means this cannot be multiplied. To progress further, we need to know what a matrix transpose is. So here's our x matrix, well known 4 by 2 matrix by now. What is x prime or x transpose? Well, the result is this. Let me write down the result. And how did we get to the result? It is now a 2 by 4 matrix, so the dimensions have flipped. The first column of x turned into the first row of x prime. And the second column of x turned into the second row of x prime. So this is the sort of algorithm that's applied for transposing. So why is that useful? Let's go back to our calculation of the OLS parameter estimator. Here we need to calculate, for instance, x prime times y. So let's see, x times y we could calculate, but can we calculate x prime times y? We've just learned that for our particular example, x prime is 2 by 4, y is 4 by 1. And now indeed the two inner dimensions agree, that means yes, we can calculate this. So, what about two further cases? What about x times x? Can we calculate that? And what about x prime times x? Can we calculate that? Again, rush to the pause button, press it and think about it. So here come the solutions. x is 4 by 2, x is 4 by 2. So the inner dimensions do not agree and therefore this is not possible. We can't calculate x times x if x are 4 by 2 matrices. x prime is 2 by 4, x is 4 by 2. So now the inner dimensions do agree. And that means we can calculate this. So this calculation is possible. Let's look at an example. x prime times y. So, pause button. Here's the result. We use our little cross setup where we put x prime into the lower right corner and we put y to the top right corner. Here's y. Now x prime is 2 by 4, y is 4 by 1. The inner dimensions will cancel out. The result is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix or vector in this case. So we'll have two elements. So here we calculate the product of the first elements, product of the second elements, plus product of the third elements, plus product of the fourth elements of the row and column involved. Then second row and the first column, product of first elements, plus product of second elements, plus product of third elements, plus product of fourth elements. So the result is a 2 by 1 matrix, 28 and 101. Second example, x prime times x. Again, pause button and try. Here's the result. Here we got x prime. Here we got x. And the result is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. We calculate 2 by 4 times 4 by 2. The 4 cancels out. 2 by 2 is the result. Four elements to calculate. First row, first column first. The sum of the products of the elements. One, two element. Again, sum of the products. And so forth. So make sure you understand how these calculations work. And the result in this case is the following, a 2 by 2 matrix, 4, 14 on both off-diagonal elements and 54 here.